Dave, you had told us that you're still trying to put whomever in the ninth inning that gives you guys the best chance to win. What was it about the matchup between Blake Trinan and Austin Riley that you initially liked? Yeah, I mean, I just felt that um, in a tie ball game right there, um, us, the home team, I just felt that that run right there was uh, really good for Blake. And um, he's going to have to do it again. It just didn't work out, but I, I just trust that he's going to get those guys out. Jake McGee coming on for the first time this postseason in that situation with Albies. Um, what did you notice in that particular at bat? Was it just bad execution, obviously, or, or just a good piece of hitting by Albies? Yeah, I, I think a little bit of both. And I think for me right there where I think Blake got to 20 pitches and they put up uh, another run, I just wanted to get him out of there. And then I wanted Jake to get some work and he got Darno to pop up and then uh, just couldn't get it far enough away, away from Albies and he put a good swing on it. Walker Bueller goes 100 pitches but does go deeper into the game than he's had in the Wild Carter Division Series round. Five plus, what did you see overall from Walker tonight? You know, I, I think that it just speaks to, you know, how good he is. He, he went five innings, gave up one run, and still uh, wasn't as sharp as I know he has been and can be. Um, it just speaks to how good of a competitor he is. Um, but certainly to, to get through five innings, to build that pitch count up, that was certainly a positive for, for all of us. Atlanta tonight, Dave, was four for five, two home runs with an 0-2 count. What were you noticing about them when they were behind in the count that they were still able to capitalize? I just think that there was, um, you know, when we had some left count leverage, I think we made some mistakes to the big part of the plate and they capitalized. And, and when they made mistakes, we just didn't tonight. Um, but you got to give those guys credit. Thank you. Yep. Next question is from Jorge Castillo. Go ahead. Uh, Dave, uh, Mookie hit, I think it was 185 during the, during the season against lefties. They went with obviously free and then Will Smith against him. What are you seeing in his at-bats against lefties? And what can he do to sort of put things around here? Yeah, you know, I, I think a little bit, um, you know, at times I think that they're the crossfire. I think they're trying to crowd him um, and, and also spin him. So I think that, you know, he's got his approach. He prepares and um, he just got to be diligent and, you know, just capitalize on mistakes. But, yeah, when they make good pitches, it's going to be tough. But, um, you know, I'll still bet on that guy. Did you get the sense that Walker's blister was bothering him again? No, actually, it, it, you know, held up as good as we've seen it in the last month. Um, that's why he was able to, to really get to that 100 pitch mark. So I was really pleased with it. And uh, just Victor Gonzalez going in there and, you know, making that, having that big strikeout. Just what, what can you say about what he's done in this short time here? It was great to see him come in in a, in a huge spot. Um, Julio did it the other night uh, for us. And tonight, Victor came in and uh, huge spot right there. And... Um, you know, kept us in a, in a, in a, in a position when the baseball game. Thank you. Next question is from Bill Plunkett. Go ahead. Dave, with Gonzalez and Gratterall both, they did a great job for you. Very few pitches, but you don't send them out for the next inning. Why is that? Yeah, I, I think that with Bruce Dar, he took a ball, uh, that last one off the palm of the hand. Um, so I just felt that, you know, that was it right there. Um, and, um, I expect him to be ready to go tomorrow. And then with Victor right there, um, punching out Culberson, but you've got five of the six guys. I really loved um, Blake taking down that inning. And uh, we talked about their pitching in the postseason before this series. Now that you've seen it in person, how good is it? It's good. Um, you know, they made some mistakes that we just didn't capitalize on. Um, but you can just see that their plan was to uh, spin us a lot more. And uh, we just got to continue to, uh, you know, swing at strikes. But, but you know, you got to give free credit. He, he pitched well, and their pen pitched well tonight. Thank you. Next question is from Dylan Hernandez. Go ahead. Hey, Dave. Uh, first couple of innings, it seems like you guys did a really good job of running uh, Freed's pitch count up. Um, then it kind of seems like he was able to get a few quick innings in there. Just what were your thoughts about, I guess, your lineup's ability or inability to kind of maybe maintain – uh, you know, the game plan going in. I, I think that's fair. You know, the first time I, I, I thought the first two innings, we did a really nice job. Um, and then the second time through, you know, we got a little bit out of our game. And uh, to his credit, he just kept uh, nibbling and, and spinning us to death and, uh, you know, got through six. Thank you. Next question from Alden Gonzalez. Go ahead. 
Hey Dave, um, you and Andrew have spoken recently about just um, the resilience, the resiliency of Dustin May's arm. Um, is is it resilient enough that he could give you, I guess, something close to a starter's workload in Game Five on three days rest? And was that part of the thinking in you in trying him for two innings today? Yeah, that, that's certainly a, a possibility. Um, so I think that. Dustin did a, did a great job for us, um, but to have him take down to, to make a start, you know, as we look out, certainly a, a good possibility. And how much risk, Dave, do you think you're taking on, uh, if any, um, in deploying your starting pitchers um, out of the bullpen, especially in a series that, given the way today went, may go uh, pretty long? Um, you know, I, I, I just think that um, talking to, you know, everyone, and most importantly, Dustin, just how he's, how he's bounced back um, and the ample rest. And then also when he does pitch a bolt game, um, you don't extend him too much. So I think that we're all kind of aligned in that. Well, thanks. Go ahead, DG. Hey, Dave, on the broadcast, uh, Tom Verducci mentioned that Walker was dealing with a second blister on his middle finger. I uh, did not get a chance to ask Walker that. Uh, is that true? I, I think over the last uh, month, there's been kind of two blisters situations and they kind of take turns. Um, but I do feel that we came out of it really well today. Also, Kiki was saying he thought Atlanta came out with a little better energy tonight and that the Freeman homer really put you uh, on your heels a little bit. Did you find the first part that uh, to be true there or did that homer just kind of uh, feed into that? Yeah, I mean, I, I thought there was a lot of energy uh, from both sides. Um, obviously, you know, the second hitter of the game, when you hit a homer as a visiting team, um, you feel pretty good. Um, but I thought Walker matched that intensity, and, and I think you just got to give credit to Free because he pitched a heck of a ball game. All right, thanks. Got time for one more. Go ahead, Claudio. Dave, talking about Victor, um, can you say that he is like a fast learner in situations like this? How impressive was for somebody so new, you know, in the club? Um, I, I just think that it's not necessarily a fast learner. I just think that his confidence um, in himself to make pitches is really high. And um, when you take talent and confidence, that's a good thing. So um, just really proud of, you know, he's come pretty far pretty fast. And... Uh, you know, he's going to continue to get some big outs for us. Thank you. Thanks, Dave. Thanks, guys.